We have to cross two mountains. Really? Two mountains? Have you lived in Bailey Village all your life? Yes, ever since I was small. Your family as well? Yes, my father and I. The two of us have always lived in Bailu Village. I see. Shenfa. Yes? How many people live in Bailu Village? About 50 people. 50 people? Yes. The villagers are all nice people. I'm sure they will be nice to you too. It sounds like a nice village. Yes. There are inconveniences since the village is surrounded by mountains. But the villagers live off the gifts from the mountains. The mountains' blessings. Further ahead, as we near the village, the paths are going to get more rocky? Yes. We'll be going over the mountain now. So tell me if you're tired. Let's go slowly. Shenfa. Yes? Can you tell me more about Bailu Village? Let's see. My grandfather told me that it's one of the oldest villages in Guilin. An old village? Yes, it's been around since the Tang Dynasty. Since the Tang Dynasty? It's been said that some nobles who were expelled from the city by the Emperor built the village to live in hiding. Really? Shenfa. Yes? Let's hurry on. Yes. What's this tree? A fragrant olive tree. Bloom up ahead, too. Oh. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. During this season, all the trees are in full bloom. Fragrant olives. Yes. In China, we call these trees Gui. And there are so many here, like woods or Ling. So Gui Ling means the woods of fragrant olives. Really? A lot of them are in bloom. Yes, it's as though the whole mountain is wrapped by the flowers. Let's move on, Yo. Okay. Shenfa. Yes? Do you like flowers, Shenfa? Yes, I love them. How about you? Flowers. I had a friend whose family ran a florist. Your friend in Japan? Yeah. What is a florist? A shop that sells flowers. Sell flowers? Yeah, that's right. That's strange. Flowers can be found everywhere. Well, that's true. Does your friend go pick flowers in the mountains and sell them? No, Nozomi. The person's name is Nozomi? Yeah. Who was this person? Nozomi. Nozomi is a girl I knew. A girl? Yeah. Did you like her? No, I wouldn't say that. Oh? Did she like you then? Uh, I don't know. I see. By the way, there's a such a deep forest. How far does this forest stretch out? Well, it will continue for a while. Really? Let's hurry on. <laughs> Shenfa. Yes? What does your father do? He's a stone cutter in Bailu village. I see. He finds various stones in the mountain stone pits and creates beautiful works from stone. When we get to our village, I want to show you some things my father created. I'd like that. Good. What about your father? My father. My father taught me a lot of things. Just like me and my father. Yeah. What did your father teach you? Father. Father. Yo, what's wrong? Did I say something wrong? No. I was just remembering something. By the way, aren't we near Bailu Village yet? 
We go over this mountain, and we'll have to go even further. I see. We still have a long way to go. Shenfa. Yes? No matter how far we go, the paths look all the same. It's like this everywhere around here. Did you ever get lost? When I was small, I did. But if you get lost, just take the animal trails. The animal trails? The path that the animals in the mountains walk. If you follow one, it'll always lead to water. How do you find one? You look for animal footprints. Footprints? You know so much about animals. I've played in the forest since I was a child. You learned it naturally. No, my father taught me most of the things I know. Your father? Yes, about the forest and the mountains and the animals. He taught me about the sky, the stars, and many other things. I see. So many butterflies.